I had the following privileged experience in my little walk with God. He opened my eyes someday and I saw that indebtedness is not his agenda for me. For the Lord thy God, bless you, has said to you, that thou shalt lend to many nations and shall not borrow. So I entered into a covenant that day against borrowing, October 4, 1981. Here am I by grace, owing nobody, living or dead. I dived into that water when he steered it. Lord, show me the secret of kingdom prosperity. Then he showed me that stop wasting your life praying for my blessings. It's not a promise. There's no respect for prayer. It's not a promise. It has no respect for fasting. It's a covenant until your part is played. I'm not committed. I enter into a vow. Now I've found it. I can never be poor. My journey into kingdom prosperity began March 22, 1982. You don't jump. The forces in that steering will go. And then you wait for another turn if it ever comes. I began pursuing after God and his, the angels of his kingdom since 1976 under a vow, written, signed, 12th September 1976. It's a natural thing for me forever. I'm not being supervised or coerced or pressurized. I'm just enjoying myself. It has become part of my system. It's part of my DNA. And the blessings undeniable. You see, most of the things we just hear from God, well, I think I'll look at it and see when it's applicable. Before you finish thinking, all kinds of things coming from all kinds of places. Or to say, what did I say the other time I would do? You have forgotten. If I have 12 souls, standing souls before the Lord, and I know that God's word delivers at its best when it comes to preaching the gospel, sowing the seed of the word, he went forth, Jesus went forth himself and then began to sow his seed. Some fell by the wayside. Ben Reson, Allah in He doesn't need it, that's the meaning. Carry your mouth, go. You know, get work. Some fell on the rock. He listens. There is no root in him. So it doesn't hold any water. It can't yield any fruit. Some fell among thorns. They are so combat with their fears of this world. I need fridge. I need refrigerator. I need, my God. My tires are gone. My engine is uh, cracking. They say, okay, I hear. But if you know what problem I'm going through now, you won't preach to me. You will give me if you have money. That's among the thorns. But some fail on good ground. So you have the assurance that at least one out of the four will fall into a good ground. So if I have 12 to deliver, I go for 48. Here's the wisdom. So you don't get distracted by the ones that fell by the wayside, the ones that fell on the rock, the ones that fell among the thorns. You are just in. The Jesus order of returns. And then you have your 12. In case that grace has not gone to that level where you can have a quarter, since Jesus had the quarter, you can start going up a little. You soon get there. So you don't go for 12 when you need 12. You give allowance to the roadside, allowance to the one among thorns, allowance to the one on the rock. But we are sure that some will fall on good ground and we bring forth fruits also. Can I hear your amen? amen? 
So it's a multiplier effect. Time is of essence. And getting anything meaningful done in the kingdom, time is of essence. You have two eyes. Can you make one to look up and one to look down? September 6, 1983. From then, I look only up for where that's where the original help comes from. The never failing God is abundance like the abundance of the sea. You can't drain it. Every revelation demands smart, prompt response. 18 hours, this is the mandate. Same month, boo, bag, boo, bag, boo, bag, boo, bag. I take off. Visions, revelations, instructions all demand prompt response for maximum delivery. This last week of this fast will establish your new name for the year. Yeah. Just connect sir, with your spirit. God is ever constant. It's our eternal constant. I am the Lord. I change now. It's your negative disposition. And my negative disposition that is affecting our lives. Let's line up with the truth. It works. Instruction. Arise, God, unto Lagos. Yes, sir. Harvest of Africa is now overripe. Yes, sir. I'm dedicating this in a year. Yes, sir. We said we are not going on foreign mission. And then we had a very celebrated meeting that December. And I go to him and said, you are going now. So I called the head of mission. I just heard from God, we are going now. So the foreign people should meet me in Lagos. I'll pray over them, annoy them, and wash their feet and send them away. Quick response. As at that time, he has lined up who will receive them in Kenya. Who will receive them? He has lined them up. They were waiting. A French woman in one of those nations saw in a vision God telling him or telling her that some two missionaries are coming from Nigeria. They have nowhere to stay in here, but go to the airport next tomorrow. And accommodate them. Those things are lined up for that time. When that time is gone, they line up and scatter. Therefore, seek ye the Lord when he may be found. Isaiah 55 verse 6, and call upon him when he's near. Be someone that can be corrected. Be someone that is making not to be directed. 